triptych, you can create site categories so that you can group all of your sites by city or purpose. This is particularly useful when planning a trip ahead of time and you know some of the sites that you wish to visit. For example, I'm planning a trip to Vancouver, BC, Canada. So I'll go to my Manage Sites section and create a new category and I'll call it Vancouver, BC. Now, I can open this empty category and start to add some sites. I can tap the Add button and choose from Contacts or Search a Location. Since I'm not in Vancouver right now, there's no point in choosing the current location. Let's first choose from Contacts and I'll add the hotel that I'm staying at. Now let's search for some tourist spots in Vancouver that I know I'll be traveling to. So I'll tap on the Add button again, and this time, Search Location. Let's find Stanley Park, the big park in Vancouver's city centre. I notice that the place mark pins it right in the middle of Lost Lagoon. Unless I have a boat, I'm not likely to go there. So let's expand the map a little, zoom around, and then I can tap and hold, and relocate the pin to where I want it to be. Once I'm satisfied, I can save my location. I can continue to do this for all of the sites that I want to visit. Now that I've done that, I'll back up these sites to Dropbox, and perhaps share these sites with my family so that they can have them on their iPhones as well. Please check the Triptych Help or watch the Dropbox video to see how you can do this. Well, now I'm on vacation in Vancouver, and the first thing I'll do is disable all but my Vancouver locations. I would like to add some locations on the fly as I visit them. Here I am at a friend's house, and I want to go from here to Stanley Park. Well, I tap on the From, and choose the current location, and since I'm going to be back here again, I'll save it under my friend's name. I'll make sure as well that I choose the Vancouver location before I save. I can pick Stanley Park from the list in the To field and find either driving or walking distances. I can even touch the View and Maps button and get my turn-by-turn -turn directions from Apple Maps. If I ever want to return to Stuart's house, I have this location saved. One last thing. I think my list of Vancouver tour sites is pretty good so I'm going to upload them to iCloud so that they are available to all other Triptych users. All I have to do is tap on this button and add some information, then tap on the Upload button. These sites are now available via the Import Shared Sites section.